Summary of Half of a Yellow Sun by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie The events in the novel Half of a Yellow Sun take place in Nigeria during the 1960s. The book starts when Ugwu, an Igbo boy from a bush town, goes to Nsukka to work as a houseboy for Odin Igbo, a professor and rebel. Odin Igbo loves Olana, the beautiful daughter of a rich Nigerian family. Olana moves in with Odin Igbo and meets his friends. Every night, his friends fight about politics. Ugwa learns how to cook well and goes to school. Richard, an Englishman who is white and lives in Nigeria, breaks up with his girlfriend Susan when he falls in love with Alana's sarcastic twin sister, Kainin. Richard goes to Nsukka and meets Odenigbo and Alana, who become his friends. Mama, Odenigbo's mother, comes to see Alana and calls her a witch, which upsets her very much. Alana and Odenigbo try to get pregnant. The story jumps ahead a few years to when the government of Nigeria is overthrown. The Northern Hausa think that the coup was started by the Igbo. Then there is another coup, and many Igbo men die this time. Olana now has a child she calls Baby, and she takes her to Kano to see her family. Violence against the Igbo turns into a riot, and Olana's family members are killed in a cruel way. She gets on a train and gets to Nsukka, where she sees a woman bringing the head of her dead daughter in a basket. While this is going on, Richard watches as Igbo people are killed at the airport. Igbo leader Colonel Ojukwu says that Southeast Nigeria will leave Nigeria and become the Republic of Biafra. All of the actors are thrilled. Then, Nigeria goes to war with Biafra to take it over. Britain and Russia give weapons to the Nigerians, who then move toward the Biafrans, who are sure of themselves. Alana, Odenigbo, Ugwu, and Baby leave Nsukka and go to the cities of Abba and then Umwahia. As the war goes on and B offers food and money run out, their living conditions get worse and worse. Odenigbo and Olana get married, but during the party, there is an air raid. The story is sometimes broken by a book called The World Was Silent When We Died. In it, an unknown author talks about the bigger political forces at work in the war. The story goes back to the beginning of the 1960s, before the war. Alana goes to London, and while she is gone, her mother and a girl named Umla go to Odenigbo. Odenigbo sleeps with Umla, and Alana finds out about it when she gets home. She leaves, and then she feels very sad. Alana finds out that Odenigbo's child is going to be born to Umla. One night, she gets drunk and sleeps with Richard. Richard and Alana agree not to tell Kainin, but Alana tells Odenigbo right away. Alana and Odenigbo start dating again. Alana decides to take an Umla's child, a girl that Umla and Mama don't want. The child's name is Kayamika, but Alana calls her baby. When Kainin found out that Alana was with Richard, she stopped talking to Alana. She sets Richard's work on fire, but she doesn't leave him. The story goes back to the end of the 1960s. What's going on in war-torn Biafra is falling apart quickly, and there is hunger and violence everywhere. Nigeria keeps Biafra from getting any help, and most other countries don't care about the war. Richard starts to write about how bad things are for the Biafrans, and Kainin runs a camp for refugees. Odenigbo's mother is killed, which makes him sad and cause him to start drinking. Kainin finds Alana, and because the war has changed how she sees things, she can forgive her. The girls get back together. Ugwu falls in love with a girl named Ebereki, but he is then sent to the army against his will. He gets into some fights and then helps a group of men rape a bar girl. In the next fight, he is badly hurt, and everyone thinks he is dead. When the Nigerians take over Mwahia, Alana's family moved in with Kainin. They find Ugwu in a hospital and bring him back home with them. Children start dying from Kawashiorkur, a disease caused by being hungry and not getting enough food. One day, Kainin goes behind enemy lines to try to find food and doesn't come back. Richard and Alana look for her like crazy, but they can't find her. Finally, Biafra gives up, and Nigeria is once again one country. When Alana's family goes back to Nsukka, their house has been broken into and all of their money has been taken. 
Ugwa goes back to his town and finds out that soldiers raped his sister in a group. He begins to write about his life, and it turns out that he wrote the world was silent when we died. What happened to Kainin is still a secret. About the author. Adichie was born in Sukka, Nigeria, to an Igbo family as the fifth of six children. Her father taught at the University of Nigeria, and her mother was the first woman to work as a secretary at the school. Adichie went to college to study medicine and then moved to the U.S. when she was 19. She has master's degrees from Johns Hopkins and Yale, and in 2008 she won a Genius Grant from the MacArthur Fellowship. She has written songs, short stories, a play, and three novels, Purple Hibiscus, Half of a Yellow Sun, and Americana. Among other awards, Purple Hibiscus won the Orange Prize. Adichie is married now, and she splits her time between Nigeria and the U.S. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.